Hello Panthery! Today I will show you how to drive this particular identities. So let's get through it. Okay, these are identities for scalar gradient, vector gradient and divergence. Maybe you are familiar with these identities where R, Rho and Phi and theta are basically the corresponding um, um, functions, coordinates, or uh, which describes a point in spherical and cylindrical coordinates. Uh, what is important to note is uh, that you have to be familiar with these coordinates um, just a bit. Okay, so let us dive into that. Here is the derivation. Okay. If we look closely, it's very easy to derive this identity. Yes, this the for uh, the for Cartesian coordinates. For Cartesian coordinates, and R is defined as the sum of this. Yes, R is x, y, and z. From this, it's clear that if you uh, dot it with some x or y unit vector, you get x divided by r. The same is true for y and z. And also, if you take this uh, nabla, as, I, uh, uh, as I've told you, you have to just put nabla on this left symbol, because this is zero, because this is unchanging, yes, the derivative of unit vector is zero. So this is x because of this equation. And this, what is that? You immediately recognize the unit uh, tensor, delta tensor. Why? Because this is the composition of any vector. Since identity tensor is independent on coordinate system, that's true, yes. For the other orthogonal systems, it must be that i is composed of cylindrical and also this. Comparing, we get oh, and, and yes, uh, there is uh, another tensor uh, in which uh, these two vectors rho and z had lie in the same plane as well as r and theta. That means that I uh, this tensor this must be a tensor independent on direction. Taking a scalar product with z and rho, you get these identities. Scalar products are very easily computed. We have told uh, we are we have actually uh, thought about before. I've talked about it. Another comparison uh, comparison between this tensor uh, x, y, and z and and this tensor, z, this identity tensor, gives you this relation, this equality, and these two vectors lie in the xy plane as well as these two, and define another tensor, like the plane tensor, we call it i, x, y, okay? Taking scalar products with x from the left, uh, I think, but it's, it's symmetric, you get x, there is zero, so uh, uh, there is zero and uh, there is uh, x divided by rho. It's, this is the same as in our case. Yes, uh, x divided by rho minus y divided by by rho, and uh, you multiply it by rho, and you get this identity. Similarly, since rho, which is radial coordinate in polar. Coordinates, yes, a row is x, y, 0 in Cartesian expression, vector notation. You get that uh, if you put here this uh, nabla x, x plus y, y, which is this, uh, this tensor. Since r square is equal to this, this is Pythagorean theorem, by the chain rule you just put nabla operator here, the gradient, and you get 
2x times x hat plus 2y y hat and so on but this is exactly if you put 2 before the brackets here this is 2 times r vector so this is 2 times r times uh, r hat which is defined as a uh, as a quotient between r and its magnitude so this is this must be uh, that uh, nabla r is exactly r hat similarly similarly we can define rho hat unit vector in rho direction uh, in the same way in the in the same way okay in the same way rho hat is defined taking gradient of this relation uh, oh, uh, the ingredient of this relation this is relation for rho because rho is r times sine of theta yes, you know that this is relation between coordinates you get uh, y divided by rho because the uh, gradient of r is r hat times sine of theta and sine of theta again is rho divided by r yes plus uh, what is here this is derivative of this is cosine times a gradient of rho and r times cosine theta is is z okay and this is rho from this you get uh, from this and the other identities we have talked about you get uh, that gradient of theta is 1 over r uh, theta hat Okay, uh, what is theta hat? Theta hat uh, is the unit vector in theta direction. Similarly, since the gradient, since the gradient of this relation gives you this is gradient of rho is rho, and cosine it's again x divided by rho, and the gradient of cosine is minus sine of theta, and this is y. Yes, rho times sine of theta is y. In this is uh, uh, this is known relation, and this is x because this is gradient of that. You get what the what this uh, nabla of rho looks like, and it looks like one over rho times rho, uh, one one over rho times phi phi hat. For vector gradients, uh, it it's not so hard to compute that that the gradient of uh, r because r is r divided by r r divided by its magnitude r vector divided by its magnitude so that means that this is 1 over r uh, the derivative of this is identity matrix minus 1 over r squared okay and this is uh, times r hat and this is uh, this is just uh, derivative yes derivative of this and plus derivative of this or derivative of uh, uh, the, the quotient yes so and uh, since uh, since this is identity tensor as I've talked about similarly this is the same but this will change to i i x y and this is phi, rho, rho hat so that means that you will get uh, i x y minus rho, but this is due to equality between x x and y y minus uh, rho hat rho hat, uh, because this is rho hat rho hat plus phi phi, so this must be uh, phi phi one over rho. So you get the gradient, uh, the gradient of phi hat. Okay, this is uh, taking the gradient of the identity this is uh, this is the chain rule so you get um, or by Leibniz rule Leibniz rule is, uh, I'm sorry not chain rule Leibniz rule yes uh, the product rule is Leibniz rule so this must be uh, zero because this is zero and then you have to put gradient here in R so you will get identity cross Z, which is uh, which is uh, uh, I don't know why 
Oh, yes, there it is. Identi minus identity cross Z, yes, and this is and this is the right side. And you will get because identity is Z Z plus rho rho plus phi phi cross it with Z. This this term is zero. I think this term is also some term. Uh, this term will give you the other co component, and this term will give you the the other one with the correct sign. Yes, these are the orders of of uh, vector multiplication we have talked about also. So from this you will get that uh, gradient of phi hat is minus one over rho phi hat rho hat. Similarly, because rho times theta is theta is given as a phi hat cross r hat which is inherently z hat cross r hat cross r which is z r minus r z uh, because uh, uh, due to identity which is called i think laplace rule or something like that yes uh, double cross product and then you can you can uh, Take gradient and uh, after some multi uh, after some algebra shown here, you will get the final identity for gradient. This is the last gradient to be computed because the other identities uh, are straightforwardly uh, will imply from the other ones. Why? Because let's read this paragraph because. Uh, only uh, scale gradient and vector gradient is important uh, and suffice to prove all ide other identities. Uh, the divergence, for example, can be computed immediately from vector gradient using the fact that this uh, gradient is the dot product between nabla and its vector, but this is the same as taking a trace for any vector. Similarly, this is um, uh, this is this uh, vector multiplication. Uh, th there is some other operator. It can be just computed from the gradient. This is what this is saying. Okay, and this is this is this is the same as you put this vector multiplication between what you what you have computed. For example, if you are computing nabla dot or the divergence of uh, theta hat this is the same as uh, taking uh, dot between these two and these two this is one this is zero so the re result is z over rho r okay and this uh, cross is then put uh, between here and here this is zero because they are the same and this must be the other coordinate yes so it's one over r times phi hat for scalar repletion, you can use the identity this and compute it for yourself by Leibniz rule or chain rule or something. This identity holds for Laplacian, vector Laplacians, but for vector Laplacians, one can you also use this identity and compute it using the cross product. And this is left to the readers, so that means that you can prove it yourself. These identities can be proven you can prove them so this is uh, and this and this can be computed from these ones and this is also computed from this and this you you have to know these ones okay or these and uh, or these okay so i hope you enjoyed this video and maybe next time